Hey, John. How's it going? Oh, man. God, I was feeling excellent a few minutes ago. <laughs> I don't know. I went outside. Just... <sighs> anyway, whatever. Yeah, I'll be all right. So I guess it's not quite three. Almost. I like that painting you posted earlier. That's pretty cool. All right. So get started on this one. Actually, I think I'm going to maybe mix some blue in there. So sometimes I'll just squeeze it out like this and grab a little bit. <laughs> you know? That's how I do it. I'll just do it however I want to do it. You know? I don't got no rules. I don't really feel like doing it. This is just a piece of cardboard, you know. I mean, I put all those layers of um, collage on it, but it's still just a piece of cardboard in the end. One advantage of uh, when I do it this way, I don't ever get too much paint. Whenever I put a glob out, it's always a bigger glob than I need. Do it this way. It's exactly how much I need, you know. I mean, there might be a little bit left on the brush or something. But not a whole glob. All right. We'll just cut out the shape and then... Maybe I'll use a different brush. Which brush, though? This is a good brush. I want it wet, but not too wet. This paint's dried up. Yeah, it'll be all right. So let's see. I think I'll let.
Okay. Color is this cobalt blue? I'm gonna try some of this. Yeah, I'll just squeeze out on the brush. That's a, kind of a wet brush. Too dark. It's kind of. Hmm. You know what I was telling you about it drying really fast. That's how fast it dries. It's already dry, but I can re-wet it. Kind of scrub it a little bit. Well, now, now it's coming up. All of it is coming up. Yeah, that's cool. Whatever. That's cool. Let's see if I can. Hmm. Uh. 
Yeah, let's see how far this has gone so far. <clears throat> We can make it there. Hmm. I don't know. It is what it is. It is what it is. There went 11 minutes. Hello, Christine. So happy belated birthday there, Christine. And Kathy and a bunch of other people that don't ever comment well what to do now that definitely needs to dry i don't know if it's finished or not maybe not but Still needs to dry. <sighs> Man, I'm tired. All right. Uh, let's see. Here's a piece of cardboard. Hmm. That's going to be. I think I, I, might, I might start doing that. Like, I haven't, I've never done that, but uh, I just see. You know, I, you get you should be getting ideas just like if you start going, if you start doing things, you'll you get ideas. You know, if you let yourself get ideas, you'll you get ideas. Like I get, I just got the idea. It's like, why not paint on some, you know, irregularly shaped shapes? You know, uh, supports. Whether it's, I mean, I'm not going to build canvases that are like this because that'd be too much of a hassle, but. Um, but I would cut pieces of wood like this, make a panel, or I'd cut pieces of cardboard because I don't really care. I'll paint on anything. But the point is that, you know, you get some irregularly shaped shapes and, um, and see what you can create. And then when you're done, you know, build the frame because I know how to build frames. So, you know, I could frame this, <laughs> you know, why not? Right. Maybe. Maybe for those people that live in hobbit houses, you know, those, uh, cob, cob, uh, is it just called cob? I guess. Like mud and sticks. Or something. <laughs> well, I, maybe that's wattle or something. I don't know. But, uh, I don't know what it's called. I mean, I know there's straw bale and I, I guess it's just called cob, you know, it's mud and straw or something like that. Maybe there's some, sand in there and uh they build houses but you know they can build houses that are like unusually shaped and stuff look like caves on the inside and stuff which i think is pretty awesome always wanted to do something like that haven't haven't done that that's on the bucket list so i guess i'm gonna be uh collaging on this you know what else would i do right I could put a big old piece just to start. Ooh, but there's more color on here. Okay. All right, here we go. You know, and I'll probably cover up all this red, you know. But at the time that I put it there, I mean, I needed to put that paint somewhere. And so I'll put it there. I could have put it on the on the kitchen on the um, dining room table, I guess. Start painting the table. There, now it's thicker.
Just randomly place them. Don't give it much thought at all. Not when it's starting out. Ooh, there's a tangent. That's okay. Now, did I actually try to paint a painting that small? What is wrong with me? It's not going to work. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, I can't get I'm, I'm giving I'm giving away too much of my seat. I just had another thought, but... I think I'm gonna save that one for myself. <laughs> you'll know when you when I if I if I get around to doing it, then you'll know about it. Cause everybody will know about it. Cause I'll you know, cause everything I do is public pretty much. I mean, all my artwork. I don't have any hidden. Uh, well, I haven't been very good about uploading images of my work. I got this old camera and. I really need a new camera. I actually bought a new camera right before COVID. And it was like 600 bucks. Not too much, but, you know, it put a dent in my bank account. And then COVID came and I was like, man, I, I need the ca I had not even unboxed it yet. You know, I was like, man, I need the cash to pay bills, you know. So, so I, I sent it back and it had been a little bit more than the 30 days, I guess, but Amazon took it back, but they didn't give me the full refund. That's what they do sometimes. You know, if you have something, you, you haven't even opened it, like it's a gift or something, they won't give you a full refund, but they'll give you a partial refund. So I got about $400 back of the 600 but it helped pay some bills, so so that was like a two hundred dollars. You know, I, I got to see the outside of the box for two hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, what a thrill! Start getting some. You know, most most of the pieces I put on these things are. shape kind of evenly and stuff it's like i need to mix it up get some weird shapes in there you know that's what i think Hmm. Well, put that on there. It seemed to want to go on there. I was actually sat in the backyard today earlier for about 30 minutes. Unbeknownst to me, the in the last couple of weeks, I really haven't hardly been outside at all. Well, really in the last month, I hadn't been out too much. And apparently during that time, Cardinals built a nest in the bush right by the bench that I sit on, right? But I didn't know it, so I, I was sitting there for a few minutes, you know, just relaxing, and out pops this cardinal just, you know, suddenly, abruptly. I don't know which one of us was more startled. They didn't seem happy that I was there, but... Well, I guess I could move the bench, but that's about the only place I can sit in the sun, you know, try to get that vitamin D. Anyway, then a few minutes later, uh, my lizard buddy visited me. I'm sure it's a different lizard, but since they all look alike to me, I know it's not politically correct to say that, but they do. To me, they all look alike. 
so um i just figure you know i just pretend it's the same guy every year i mean i don't really know much about lizards how long they live or anything like that and i have seen more than one back there at a time occasionally so but anyway it was just nice to see him because you know, I hadn't seen him in quite a while. And the yellow jackets were out too, so you got to take the good with the bad, right? That's that's trying to that's trying to do something, isn't it? You see it trying? Can you tell it's trying to do something? There. I don't know what it's trying to do yet. You know, it's crazy. Maybe a little bit more green over here. Like that. I gotta eat. Here's some yellow. Put some yellow in there somewhere. At least a few pieces. Boom. Well, that yellow's strong. Hmm. And now I'm starting to like wonder where where stuff should go. Not too much, but a little bit. You know, once you start getting everything filled in, then you start making decisions. Not at first. At least I don't. Hmm. Oh. I don't want it that way. Do I want it? I don't want it that way. Do I? Okay. It seemed to want to go that way. So I was going to do it the other way. What do I know? I still want a piece of this in there, I think. I'll just put it right down here. Just so it's in there. Makes me feel better. Okay. <sighs> What's going on? Hello, Heather. And who else is here? Whatever, ha what did you ask me, Kathy? Uh, whatever happened to that assemblage? <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh You thought it was great, huh? Yeah, I don't. I kind of abandoned that idea. It's like I just couldn't really get into it. I guess. Uh, see, I never really, I never finished it. She's in there. She's, she's all, discombobulated now. I don't know. I never, I never glued anything down or not. I mean, I never, I just, I just didn't finish it. So there it is. But uh, you know, I had a, I had that. You see that board there, and I made this kind of, this kind of medallion thing. 
that I don't know. It was just I had it hanging back there, but anyway. So there she is. <laughs> That's one of them. There might have been another one. I think there was another one too. I don't. Maybe you're talking about the other one. I don't know what. I think I, I might have incorporated the other one into, uh, into a painting or something. I think. I can't remember. Maybe I'll get around to finishing that. <laughs> you like that, huh? Yeah. All right. That's some weird stuff, man. Well. I think that's it for today. Oh, man, I'm still kind of under the weather. I was feeling worse yesterday, but I thought I was feeling great today, but I'm not feeling so great right now. At least I got a little bit of work done around here, believe it or not. Or don't believe it. <laughs> I got my truck started, which is a, a milestone. It hadn't started in... Uh, my truck hadn't started in over a year, so and the battery was I don't know maybe seven years old. So I mean it needed a new, a new battery anyway. So I had a guy deliver battery and install it. It was under it was less than two hundred bucks. What the hell? So apparently batteries have gone up actually. Hmm. Yeah, in seven years I guess that happens. <laughs> you know, it's funny sometimes. I'm like, you know, I still can't, I don't know. Sometimes I wonder, it's like, if I do live to be 85 or 90, will I be able to afford anything? A can of beans might be $5. I don't know, I'll probably be hunting squirrels. Better get me a pellet gun. I don't know. <laughs> you know, scavenging. Uh... You've been learning about stoicism, yeah. Yeah, you know, I, was, I appreciated that video you shared with me, Heather. Um, I don't know, maybe, I mean, maybe I'm part stoic on a good day, you know. But anyway, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. There's Nathan. Hey, happy birthday, Nathan. Oh, still not in an art movie. Well, sorry to hear that. Good to see you, though. Or, well, sort of see you. Okay, so that's it. I'm sorry. I'm about to pass out. I kind of faded out there for a minute. Trying to get back on the regular routine. You know, I usually sleep from 9 to whenever. But I stayed. I got up and did some work instead. So now I'm going to try to stay up till at least 10 o'clock tonight. You know, so I can... Because I don't generally sleep more than 6 hours, 7 hours. 7 hours is a lot for me but six hours straight, you know? So if I could go to bed at midnight, get up at six, that'd be great. I like getting up early, just before the sun comes up, you know, so I can have my cup of tea out on the porch. You know, there's a couple of birds that get up about that time. They only know one song, though. I mean, each one of them knows a different song, but... Neither one of them know two songs. <laughs> I've never heard them sing a second song. Kind of like, you know, they're birds. See, if I was doing genetic engineering, man, I'd I'd make some birds that could that could whistle. Whistle. <laughs> I started to say whistle. So never mind. Oh God. Politically correct. All right, so thanks for showing up. What's tomorrow, Friday? 
I think it's Friday. If it's Friday, we'll do the uh, Facebook group. If y'all, you know, and uh, if you're not yet in the Facebook group, you can come by there. Uh, Andy Morris Art Extension, E X T E N S I O N, I think. But I'm not the best speller. I used to be able to spell, but now I, I've been relying on Google to correct my spelling for a few years. And uh, so I, it's like the longer I do that, the, the, the you know, it's like I forget how to spell everything, you know, because I just rely on Google. You know, because I got a Chrome browser and it just it fills it in. Of course, sometimes it's wrong. Sometimes it thinks you want a word that, and sometimes it doesn't recognize a word that uh, is a word. You know, like it'll try to correct you when it's it's like, no, you didn't spell it wrong. It's just that Google doesn't know that word exists. You know, it seems like like when they when it first started doing the autocorrect, when Google first started, it seemed like it didn't recognize Google. Like if you typed in Google, it would try to correct you, try to offer different, <laughs> you know. Isn't that funny? I think that's funny. Anyways, ironic. That kind of funny. See, that's irony. A lot of people don't. Ugh. You know how Facebook is. There's a lot of brilliant people on Facebook. You guys. And then there's a lot of imbeciles. You know. Bless their hearts. They deserve a place in society, too. I'm not sure where. Maybe a classroom. You know. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Talk to you later. I got no rant in me today. Whistle Led Zeppelin. Well, sure. House of the Holy. Or uh, <laughs> maybe they maybe they could whistle some who. I guess the owls would need to do that. All right. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for shop shopping. Thanks for coming by. Bye. Tomorrow the uh, Facebook group. That way we can all have a have a say. See you there. Bye.